Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back again with more for ghost stuff, because the, uh, the band, the, the banner, the, the live stream just ended. So now we have the, uh, the 5th anniversary info now. So I'm going to go over it. There's some stuff that is obviously from We Already Knew, because it's two years in the making. But there is some new stuff coming, which I'll try and start with the new stuff first. So that's going to be today's video. And I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, and we'll... That would be nice. Yes, thank you. Leave a like, comment down below. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still recovering from my sickness, so I don't know what I'm doing. And do all that other good stuff. Support the channel. There you go. So, first things first. Uh, they said in the stream that the, the banner should have been up right when basically like 4 p.m., which is 36 minutes ago. It's not. You're going to have to wait till maintenance, which will be done at, I think, 2 a.m. California time. So... Be prepared for that. Basically, a lot of people won't be able to summon until the morning. So if you're wondering, where's the banner? There's the banner. Uh, another thing, thing that's brand new to this one, <clears throat> is the pure prisms, which was, I forget when it's in, it was uh, introduced, but pure prisms are being added to the game early. If you don't know what a pure prism is, I can look at it right here, thankfully. So, it's a currency that can be exchanged in the Da Vinci Workshop for Ascension items. Up to 100 of each item can be exchanged with pure prisms. This really helps with uh, ascending stuff. So we'll be having a lot more material, which is going to be very nice. So it's very nice to get this early. Um, obviously, a lot of people wanted pity super early, I, me included, but it, there was just no way that they were going to be able to include Pity early without angering the entire JP fanbase for us getting it early. It's There's no way around it. <laughs> they just probably wouldn't be seen as fair. But anyway, let's go on. There she is, of course, obviously coming. Uh, something that's brand new, Faint Dragon Carnival. You can now see it all on Crunchyroll. If you have not illegally seen it already, you can go ahead and do that. 60 Saint Quartz coming in as a gift, which is very nice. Which on the Holy Night, which is a type moon VN that we have not gotten because we usually don't get their VNs. Uh, we usually don't get anything from them, to be honest. Except for Fate Extra uh, Musou games and Fago itself. But anyway, let's go over exactly everything now. That's basically the new stuff. And I can start from the very beginning. So, for the login, on day one, you get uh, this money QP, friend points, all very basic stuff, but at the end, summon tickets times 10. Oh, I actually did forget one thing. One other new thing that's new, it's right here, but don't worry about it, I'll talk about it soon. And then also a special total login bonus for the first login, some mana prisms 200, some uh, corona foes, both types, and a rare mana prism at the end. <clears throat> What's brand new is the stages, the thing that they hinted at that, the, hey, guess it's coming, is finally coming. So now Ember Gathering is going to be much easier because now we have an actual dedicated way of getting five-star embers and a lot of QP now. Very good. Very nice of them to include it by anniversary. I think they should have probably included it with the other 120 update. But hey, it's here now. Good enough for me. We're going to have a five times chance of a suck. Either a great suck or a good suck. Whichever kind of suck. Any kind of suck is usually good. If you, I've been waiting for a Craft Essence suck up event so I can finally get rid of so many of these freaking Craft Essences I've been saving. Uh, command code slots has been up by 50, both for servants and uh, CEs as well. The Band Prism Shop Change, this is coming. So if you don't know, you have you can actually on the dailies go into them individually and you can get 30 mana prisms a day by just doing those daily, but it takes forever and no one does that. I don't do that. I don't know who the hell does that to be honest, but now it's changed so now it's super easy to get the 30 to get the 30 mana prisms. You just need to clear three quests a day. That's it and you're good. Very good change. I've been waiting for this change for such a long time. It's so nice. It really does help with mana prisms to get them because uh, on JP you basically have no problem with mana prisms because you're getting 30 a day basically. Next, <clears throat> these are the new missions that are being added that will give you a total of 130 uh, St. Quartz. Clear Lost Belt 4, uh, Clear Lost Belt 5, those are 10 right there. Clear 190 free quests, clear 200 free quests. Clear two, uh, interludes, clear 200 of them, 210, 220. And then rank up quests for 9 up until 140, you get 10 for each of those. So yeah, total 130 quartz. And if you've already completed them, then those missions will be completed and boom, you're good to go. The, there will be no more uh, friend space and follower space stuff. 
Also, if you make friends, you'll be able to get, if you add at least five new friends, you'll be able to get three summon tickets and also a hundred mana prisms. So, pretty damn nice. Make sure to make some friends. It's very easy. Trust me, it's very easy. So it's just an easy three summon tickets. The renewal is here, so now you don't have to use the code remover anymore, which is nice. Uh, and code removers can now be used to unlock command code slots. Very nice. It's a change. Uh, big strength up is here. If you don't know what the strengthens are, I have them right here. If you don't want to know them for some reason, you want to be a mystery, don't look. But here they are. Uh, I won't, I guess, close your eyes for the time being. I won't mention them what they are, but you can see here some very good ones. Obviously, the big ones are the ones on day four. These are the ones everyone's have been waiting for. I don't know why I talked like Swiss Guard. Uh, yep. These are big ones. This one specifically for this girl right here at the end. Big time strength and big gorilla power coming from her on this one. So look forward to that. Some good strengthens. Good stuff all around on that one. <clears throat> Next. Progress rewards and stamina cost down is here too. So this is where you can get the uh, 1046 sync quartz fragments by just completing the story. And that's 149 SQ for you. So if you combine the 149 SQ plus the, in theory, 130 you're getting, that is already, why am I so bad at math? A 179 SQ right there. Uh, and also, yeah, stamina cost reduction, which is nice. And I think there's also some kind of thing going on with the story as well. Uh, here's a Ryu uh, melt that I had not seen before, which is pretty nice. Here's the GSSR. I've already done a full breakdown on the GSSR. If you want to see a video on that, I've already done it. But the basics are here. These are the banners and how they look like. They're all divided by year, so you probably want to summon on the year you want. There's also a guaranteed four star that comes with it as well. So you get a five star and a four star for 15 paid Saints Quartz. You have to pay for them if you, this is not free to play. So don't, if you're free to play, once again, ignore the GSSR. But there we go. And here's the basic overview of everything in case I missed anything. All daily uh, quest AP cost one half all enter and burn training grounds unlocked limited time. Five times suck. Fifth anniversary special commemorative login bonus plus special total login bonus. Friend skill increase. The friend slots increase. Fake writer on fifth anniversary limited guaranteed summons. Servant rank ups. Uh, command code change. Command code system. Half AP. Daily missions and new extra missions. Stuff like that. Here's a little hint at summer, which is coming up. Obviously, I think we still are scheduled to have comma up first, but I would actually prefer it if we had summer first, if I'm being 100% honest with you, so I can skip comma. I don't want to deal with it. But we are getting uh, Bunyan Revival uh, early, at least. Not early, it's coming up. <laughs> the thing that will be different is that I, I, I'm going to be kind of curious on this one. So on the JP version of the game, they didn't have coins when she got revived. We do. And the way that they got coins for Bunyan is in the the uh, Learning with Manga uh, collab. So now I'm kind of curious if we're just going to have an extra set of Bunyan medals, which would be interesting. I like Bunyan. She's a good little uh, grinder up person, so you should obviously get her. She's adorable as well. Some limited stuff, and also specifically because she's getting an outfit in this anniversary as well. <coughs> this is being added for the Mana Exchange lineup. You can get this command code, the Crest of the Titans, which gives 5% NP gain on the engraved card. Monkey Arjuna, Spiriton Dresses, everyone's favorite Spiriton Dresses. For uh, five uh, fantastic characters, we have Arjuna here with his monkey friend, everyone's favorite. We have Bunyan as a rabbit for Halloween, fucking adorable. Da Vinci, who doesn't like Da Vinci? Nero, with her 27th dress, all warranted of course, all needed. Uh, and then everyone's favorite, Izzo, who is the demon man that is the number one hearts of everyone's uh, hearts. The number one hearts of everyone's hearts? What the fuck am I talking about? He's the number one three star in everyone's hearts. Because JP fucking loves Izzo. <laughs> Which is, uh, of course, because he's awesome. And I've already gone over the pure prisms. New tutorial missions are coming as well that you can complete them. This is also coming with the servant setup cost. This is kind of to help new players, which is why I didn't mention it, because most people watching this are probably not new. But if you're a new player, they, we do have that coming up. Free stuff and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. At this point, we're just waiting for the actual banners to come up. So that's basically everything. Man, 
Uh, I guess chill until the banners come out. I wish you guys all the best of luck who are summoning. Happy start of anniversary now that we can start it. And I'll see you guys on the summon video when I wake up my brother to go watch me fail to get uh, Castoria. Also, yeah, they did translate her as Altria, as is tradition for all Artorias, is that they get translated as Altria. But it was funny kind of seeing on a live panel them going, Castoria, and then <laughs> them going, yes, Altria, whose nickname is Castoria. <laughs> Pretty funny. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.